This drone video from Saturday shows hundreds of sturgeon, some as big as eight feet long, trying to swim in only a few inches of water in the south end of Sturgeon Lake. And I've spent a lot of time back here and, and I've never seen this happen. No. Josh Enyart lives along the lake and took the video. Pretty obvious to me that they weren't going to be leaving here. He also called biologists with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife who came out that same day. A large number of sturgeon uh, moved through the lake and were foraging in this general area. And when the tide started going out, some of them started getting stranded. The lake is fed by the Columbia River, which rises and lowers with the tide. Today, the biologists brought in equipment to pump water from a nearby canal into the shallow area to help the stranded sturgeon survive until that tide rises. We can't gain an extra level of water with this kind of setup, but we believe we're giving them the benefit of added oxygen in the water uh, to allow them to survive a little longer until the tide series comes up. Biologists considered trying to move the sturgeon out of the shallow area, but felt that would add too much stress to the already stressed fish. They also noticed the sturgeon had created their own refuge. And so what they've done essentially is, is started building a deeper depressional area by swimming and milling around using their tails to move sediment around. Biologists say some of the fish are getting out at high tide. They estimate about 500 were stranded Saturday, but believe only about 50 to 100 are still there today. The hope is by this time tomorrow, all will be out. So it seems like on every high tide cycle, some of these fish are, are able to exit and uh, find their way out. So I think actually the prognosis is pretty good at this stage. Now it's important to point out normally this time of the year uh, Sturgeon Lake here would be much higher because of mountain snow melt. The problem it's been so cold for so long this season that snow really hasn't melted all that much as a result the lakes and the rivers down here are quite low. Of course biologists hope the warmer weather we're getting this week will help change that. Back to you. Let's do hope so. Thank you Keely.